What's up, Tech Heart Rockstars? I wanted to chat with everybody today about some news that I've been hearing, mostly on like conservative sites and uh, whatnot, about T-Mobile, the cellular company, is going to take over and start issuing fines for their users' text messages that are sent back and forth and um, a change to their TOS that they've announced for January 4th. I think we'll start first. I'm going to play a video by another YouTuber. And uh, let's play like 30 seconds of that and see what he has to say. Now you may have saw this, seen this story floating around the interwebs over the uh, last couple of days or maybe even a week because information or story about this came out early last week and it wasn't really picked up until more recently in which a major cell phone provider, T-Mobile, and presumably everyone else will move along the same way here, has um, updated their terms of service in a way that will now allow for fines, allegedly, to their customers of up to $3,500 for texting hate speech, allegedly. You know, allegedly. You text something that T-Mobile doesn't like, they now have it in their terms of service that you can be fined up to $3,500, according to some reports. Right. According to some reports. Let's pull up some sites about this. Here's the first report that I could find. It's by the Bandwidth Support Center, which I don't even know if that's a, a reputable company, but this is the first post. And I'm going to read it to you. It's by Ashley White. And it says, what's happening? Beginning January 1st, 2024, T-Mobile is instituting three new fees for non-compliant A2P traffic that result in a severity zero violation. A SEV zero represents the most harmful violation to consumers and is the highest level of escalation with which a carrier will engage with bandwidth. This applies across all A2P products, SMX, which is text, or MMS shortcode, which is multimedia, toll-free, and 10 DLC that traverse T-Mobile's network. Uh, there's three tiers. The lowest tier is three. It's a $500 fine for all other violations, including but not limited to shaft. I guess I should read the other way. The worst is tier one. It's a $2,000 fine for phishing, smishing, and social engineering. A tier two, it's a $1,000 fine for illegal content. And now listen to this one. Included content must be legal in all 50 states and federally. And then the tier three one, $500 for all other violations, including but not limited to shaft. Uh, what is shaft? I saw that uh, shaft is, well, I can't even say it here on YouTube. Hmm. S H some, some sort of speech. So anyway, this talks about it. There was a post on T-Mobile community and uh, this RWC poster says, T-Mobile has quietly uploaded their TOS to include fines for content they don't agree with and then blah, 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 blah. And a T-Mobile representative told him, hello all, these changes only apply to third-party messaging vendors that would send commercial mass messaging campaigns for other businesses. Um, there's a couple other reports I heard about this, but most of these are like, conservative right-leaning, but anyway, most of them are saying that T-Mobile's going to snoop on our text messages. So right in the in, in the report, the, the first line, it says, T-Mobile is instituting three new fees for non-compliant A2P traffic. Well, wouldn't your first question be, what is A2P traffic? A2P is application to person messaging. Um, it includes stuff like two-factor authentication. It includes stuff like applications that text message you or, you know, send you uh, texts or other data. It's uh, notifications, pop-ups. It also can be um, <clears throat> uh, political campaign messages. And so while I don't agree with big tech really even being able to find in this uh, in these instances, shouldn't they just um, inspect and report? I don't agree with this, but it certainly isn't what a lot of the media, what you're hearing today about T-Mobile is going to snoop on all of our text messages. T-Mobile is changing their TOS so that they can go after application to person messaging. I went and checked T-Mobile's uh, terms and conditions, the TOS. It's effective as of May 15th, 2023. 
So what I suggest and what I will be doing is I'll be grabbing this on January 1st, 2024 and seeing the actual changes in the TOS when we can actually see them from T-Mobile. Um, T-Mobile also has a code of conduct. Prohibited campaign content before was for spam, fraudulent or misleading messages, depictions or endorsements of violence, inappropriate content, profanity or HS, uh, endorsement of illegal drugs. That other thing I pointed out too, um, if we go to the original post, uh, if we go down here, tier two, 1,000 for illegal content. Included content must be legal in all 50 states and federally. I live in Oregon. I can think of some content for products that are legal in Oregon and Washington. Um, and so maybe some vendor or business it's totally okay sending messages, but with that wording, they wouldn't be legal in all states. Do you think that T-Mobile uh, should have fines like this for their customers? Customers meaning applications, businesses, campaigns, um, you know, big tech, 2FA. Should they have these fines for those type of customers? I don't think so. But let me know down below. What do you think? Um, are you drinking the Kool-Aid? Is T-Mobile going to be sniffing all of our text messages? Or are you just going to keep your eyes peeled like I am for the actual changes on the first? I don't want um, big tech any, any more in my life than I need. But I also know that it's not as big as some of these people are attempting to make it out to be. All right, Tech Art. I just wanted to pop on the night and say my peace. Take care, y'all. Late.